gather around, Mains, and let me tell you the tale of a bear. Christmas time was always a special time in the Hundred Acre Shower. Holiday festivities, feasts, gifts, and of course, Sudsy was always working on a new brick. In fact, the inhabitants of the Hundred Acre Shower always expected a brand new Christmas brick every year from Sudsy, and who could blame them? However, this year, Sudsy was not feeling so festive. His friends taking his bricks for granted while offering nothing in return. Oh, bother. Why should I keep busting my tail when no one's ever given me a brick? That Christmas Eve night, Sudsy went to bed having no brick prepared for tomorrow. It would be a sad, brickless Christmas tomorrow in the shower. However, in the middle of the night, the curtains of the bedroom began to flow in the breeze of the night's wind. And in a whoosh of air, an apparition appeared at the foot of Sudsy's bed. I am the ghost of Brickmas past. Come with me, Sudsy. A reluctant Sudsy crept out of bed and soon was transported to a scene from his cubhood. Look at how happy everyone was, he said, watching a young bear playing with his bricks. Suddenly, Sudsy heard another voice beside him. Yeah, man, I am the ghost of Brickmas present, and I've got something you'll want to see, my boy said the apparition, transporting Sudsy to a different place and a different time. This is Bricklet's house, said Sudsy. Wow, I just can't wait for Sudsy's new brick tomorrow. We're lucky to have a friend like him, said Bricklet. Maybe they do appreciate me. And with that, Sudsy felt a tapping on his shoulder. It was a third apparition, the ghost of Brickmas yet to come. Sudsy was teleported to a terrifying scene. It was the Hundred Acre Shower transformed into a hellscape. The vibrant green trees decayed to the ground, and the inhabitants, Sudsy's friends, replaced by vile, mutated three-in-ones. Worst of all, he then saw himself as a Scrooge Bear, the joy in his eyes gone. Immediately, a nauseated Sudsy knew the infernal torment that appeared before him. This would be what is to come, should the shower lose its natural bricks. I've seen enough, yelled Sudsy, closing his eyes in absolute disgust at the scene before him. However, when he opened them back up, he was safe and sound in his bed. But he wasn't about to go back to sleep. He marched down to the laboratory and began work on a new brick. With a cinnamon and pine scent and a heavy grit, it was a brick with an edginess to it, like Sudsy had experienced, but still made with the same magic as before. Christmas would once again be a hit in the shower. And that means is how Sudsy rediscovered his love for bricks. Ew, man! Welcome to the Frick Cast and to the Sudsy Bear Soap Guides. Today we're being put on the naughty list with the Scrooge Scrub. This is a Christmas limited edition offered by Sudsy Bear with a unique Scrooge theme. This bar has some interesting things to cover, so let's get into it. Let's start with the unique ingredients. First up is some essential oils that help form the scent, but also have some benefits, such as pine essential oil and balsam fir essential oil, which are soothing and anti-inflammatory. Benefits here include being antimicrobial and cleansing, leaving skin healthier. There's also cinnamon oil and pulverized cinnamon sticks, which has a few benefits including being antiseptic and helping to fight against skin ailments. It improves complexion, slows signs of aging, as well as tones and brightens skin. Next is activated charcoal. This boy is a great cleanser, soaking up excess oil, removing impurities and clearing pores, leaving skin toned and smooth. Lemon peel granules add some exfoliation to the brick via citric acid. It's antimicrobial and full of antioxidants, making this bar one that cleans deep. Pumice sand is what gives our brick its heavy grit. Pumice is volcanic rock, and its use here is for the exfoliation it provides, clearing away dead skin and allowing the bar to clean deeper and leave skin softer. Overall, this bar looks to be a rough, gritty one, yet also one that's deep cleaning and soothing with a woodsy cinnamon vibe, perfectly capturing the vengeful spirit of Christmas. The scent of this bar is best described as cinnamon and pine, 
Cinnamon is the first note I get, but it's really not a sweet smell. The pine also adds a good bit of woodsiness to it, so it makes for an interesting Christmas scent. It's sort of a pine forest meets cinnamon spice smell. It's pretty fresh smelling too. Just like the Grinch rents, it's a creative combination that may or may not work for you. The bar is around your standard potency level, so around medium. It's maybe not the best scent out there, but unlike Scrooge himself, it's pleasant enough. Although the scent is unique, it's probably the grit that will either keep you away or keep you coming back. The bar has a heavier grit to it. It's not the absolute roughest out there, but it's rougher than most. The pumice sand here is finely ground up, but there's a lot of it. Other than that, I find the bar isn't quite up to sudsy standards. The lather is a bit weaker, and it almost feels like you're just rubbing sand all over your body. As you'd expect from such a mean-spirited brick, this bar is cold and unforgiving. Now, as for my thoughts, I'm not the biggest fan of this brick, but I see its appeal. Quite aight is where it belongs for now. While I would not call this a bad bar, it's easily my least favorite so far. There are just a lot of bricks that do it better. The cinnamon pine scent is an interesting one, but one I found not to be all that pleasant, although it did grow on me quite a bit. I wasn't really a fan of the texture or grit of this bar either. It wasn't too rough, but I just found it to be lacking and not really feel that exfoliating or deep cleaning. Overall, I don't think this brick is bad, but just not for me. It's my least favorite from the Christmas trio. Still, if you like heavier grit bars and like the idea of cinnamon mixed with a woodsy scent, you may find yourself enjoying this brick. That's only my opinion though, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments. What do you think of the Scrooge scrub? Is this brick going to visit you in the shower? Will you be having a merry brickmas? Sudsy had rediscovered his passion for making great bars. But there are many more brick tales to be told, which should be next.